<laughs> well, welcome back, everyone. I am Brian. You are Chords and Notes Nation, and this is another raw, honest, and unedited music reaction. Baby metal. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. You guys will probably tell me. You've been absolutely fantastic uh, in in the comments and the explanations. This one was a suggested video, and it's um, it has the English subs. It says so. We're gonna we're gonna go for it. Hopefully, we've got some good subtitles here, and it is off of the YouTube channel for the Fox God. Okay, so that's the introduction of the video. A couple of things I want to say before uh, before we get started. And a lot of you are absolutely new to this channel, okay? Those of you who belong to The One, is that what you guys call yourselves? Um, yeah, I think that was it. <laughs> okay, so where do I want to start? First of all, okay, a couple of things I want to let you guys know before we get started. So please don't skip. Don't skip. Just listen again. The format is different, and it is in, in a way that I want it to be as if you and I are friends, and I have invited you into my house, into my living room, to sit down, and we're going to watch this together. Now, there's reasons that I chose this sort of format. Don't need to go into them. Some of them are technological. Some of them are medical, okay? Because a lot of people are like, why don't you wear headphones? That's a medical reason, okay? So we're not going to be doing that. Um... But I kind of want to make it fun and interesting. And it'll always be raw, honest, and unedited. Those of you who don't know, my regular job, I am a truck driver. I work Monday through Friday, long hours, okay? This is a Thursday when I'm recording this. I worked a very long day, almost a 12-hour day. I am exhausted. But I needed some music, and I wanted to put something out, and I wanted to do this because I remember reading this suggestion. I think it was last night or early this morning. Time slips by when you just work, 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 right? Um, as far as the comments are concerned, I will get to them as many as I can. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. Um, some of you have written a, a novel for me to read. <laughs> Honestly, when I'm reading the comments or I'm liking them during the day, it's when I'm sitting in a dock and I got a few minutes to just kind of peruse and, and skim and, you know, maybe drop a couple of comments. So... I will hopefully eventually be able to get to, to responding, but it's probably not going to happen to all of them, so just understand that. Um, what else did I want to say? A little bit of confusion as far as like all this information that you guys have, have uh, given me. Um, those first three videos that I did, I recorded them all at the same time, okay, in the same session. And then I released them on separate days, so it wasn't in succession. That, you know, one day I sat down and I recorded it. The next day I sat down and recorded it after reading your comments. It doesn't work that way. Okay, most YouTubers don't do it that way. We'll, as far as I know, we'll just, you know, do a bunch of videos when we have the time. And then we have the ability to schedule them to be released whenever. There's some videos I'm, I released this week because I didn't have enough material that I've been sitting on for four months. Okay, so just be aware of that. Um... As far as the audio, now here's the thing, when it comes to metal, all right, the way, because the way I do things, don't have enough time, not enough time to edit, okay, um, so this whole screen and screen, headphones, all of that sort of stuff, I trade that in for doing it this way, and a little bit of the sound gets degraded because I'm doing this microphone through these speakers. Now, I did talk to an IT professional who told me what I need to do in order to give you an HDMI audio direct feed so that you can hear it as if you were listening uh, to it directly and I can still keep this format. However, however, that is going to cost money. More money than I have available right now. So if you want to contribute to this channel, that money will go towards your enjoyment experience down the road when I'm able to get the equipment. So Patreon merch store, donation requests, super thanks. Those are the four ways that you can monetarily contribute to the channel, which will then get fed back into the channel 
you're investing in your own enjoyment experience. You get what I'm saying? Otherwise, like many have said, you, you've come here for the reaction. If you want to just listen to the song, you can go do it on your own, okay? And I respect that you want to have that same audio quality uh, experience while I'm listening to it. But I've already given you my explanation. So it's the way she goes. Way of the road, folks. Um, but I am looking forward to more people contributing, getting on board, getting into Patreon. And of course, with the Patreon, depending on which tier you choose, you get to pick which reactions that I do. So get on board. Let's check it out. All of that information is in the description box below. We are now over five minutes of talking. I don't like to do that, but I have a new fan base here that I need to explain these things to. Okay? Got it? All right. Now, let's get started. Yes, I will adjust it. One moment. Sorry, guys. Like I said, it was a long day. So good, I needed this after a long day.
time to be doing that. That's a little too long. too much for me at the end that was too long it was too long i understand where it, that they were doing it how why they were doing it but in my opinion that was just that's over the, way over the top okay um but anyways is what it is um so i i think i want to focus on a couple of things here and i think mostly it's going to be lyrically uh but i musically i have to make uh some sort of reaction here girls got good voices you know, they, they choreograph the story as much as they can. Um, and, um, and they're very good at getting the, the crowd involved, which is the way it should be, right? Um, the musicians are, are extremely talented. I've read some of the stuff which you guys said um, as far as their, their origins and, and how they were kind of pieced together and what kind of style, you know, they are. And, and I picked up on... Uh, I picked up on the the speed metal, power metal. I picked up a little bit of black metal in there too, as far as the harmonic structure in a, in, in a place or two. But it didn't reside there very long um, because this was not a dark song. It wasn't constructed to be a dark song, um, and and certainly not. You know, black metal isn't happy, um, but there were you could just tell just some subtle differences in. Uh, metal styles that were sort of molded together into this song now to the crux of all of this are the lyrics this is an anti-bullying song and um i guess where i'm gonna come from is first of all when i was a kid in school i i dealt with that i you know i was not the bully i was the bullied uh from time to time and uh, and i remember how that feels all these decades later okay that is not something that goes away and that you can just be like, okay, whatever. Uh, it does have an impact on a human being and it has an impact, especially on people who are loving and trusting of others. Um, and it, it changes your, uh, the way you view people. It changes the way you trust people. It changes a lot. Okay. Um, but I can also talk from the standpoint in, in a former career, I was a teacher and I, I, saw that and I had to deal with that within the schools as well but living long enough you you experience it in you know more than just uh, the education field it has an effect on those who are bullied but I'm thinking about those who are the bullies okay and it's for the most part, obviously, there's going to be specific examples that fall outside of this, outliers that fall outside of this, the general statement I'm about to make. But those who do the bullying are the ones that are hurting the most, okay? Because where they have come from in their lives, who they are, their journey in life has brought them to the point just like they were saying, you know, uh, about hurting others and how that, it has a reverse effect, you're hurting yourself as well. But those who need to inflict pain upon others are those who have more than enough pain within themselves. And in order for them to release that, to feel some sort of pleasure rather than living in pain. The only language they know is pain, whatever that might be, whether it's emotional abuse, physical abuse, 
whatever the case may be, okay, it's you you turn that outward onto others because that's the only language that you know. And and thus the cycle continues on and on. Um, and it's the same way with love. When you start to show love and kindness, um, that can transform a human being. And they can in turn pay that forward and that can trans... So you could, in a positive way or a negative way, affect the world around you. And so I understand the, the ideas, some of these ideas of... Um, collectivism that are really prevalent in Asian societies that doesn't make it superior to individualism because they are still individuals okay and there's nothing shameful in acting in your own best interest but you also as an individual need to exercise common sense love and kindness and not dump your on other people, S H I T, okay. I'll I'll just say it, and I, I know I don't need to take crap from people because well, you're a Christian, you shouldn't say it. Just you don't put your shit on other people. End of story, okay. You just don't. Um, sometimes we lash out, and the, and then oh, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to. It's one of those instinctual, you know, or not instinctual, but uh, um, what sort I'm looking for, uh, reflexive things okay um but i like how they are taking their popularity their fame within the context of the society that they live in and they're trying to affect people for for positive i think that's great but it's still up to the individual to make that choice now back to what i was saying before so people will act out on things based upon the environment that they know, okay? And this is why, hey, I'm going to say, this is why Jesus is for everyone. Because it's love, he's love, he's grace, he's mercy, okay? For everybody, okay? We're all sinners. We're, we all messed up. None of us are perfect. None of us are righteous. And we still do. But it's his love, grace, and mercy. That's a lesson that we need to pass on to others, by showing love, grace, and mercy to others. Yes, there is a time for justice. Yes, there is a time to stand up and fight back. Okay, there's a season for everything. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. But if you live your life as an angry individual who's throwing your shit on other people and doing things to harm other people in order to make yourself feel better about who you are, that is a very dangerous thing to do because you are destroying yourself and you are destroying others but you are destroying people you have not who haven't even been on this earth yet because you're impacting especially when you're young people okay you're impacting others that will grow and adapt according to what has happened to them and sometimes the bully becomes I should say the bullied becomes the bully because that original person who started the bullying wasn't a bully when they were born. Do you understand what I'm saying? This domino effect. All right. So I think this was an extremely good uh, song. I think I think what they said was was positive, and that you can change and you can be someone else. You can stand up for others. You can stand up for yourself. When you stand up for others and you and you say no to that bully. Don't forget to show them love, kindness, and mercy because it's one thing to stop them, but you need to show them that there is a better way, okay? It doesn't end there, and it's not always going to be easy, and it's not always going to be, they're not always going to allow that, okay? Um, but the more kindness, love, and mercy, and grace that you show them, grace is getting something that <laughs> you don't deserve. And mercy is not getting something you do deserve. Okay, I hope you guys understand the difference between those. And loving unconditionally, loving one another as you love yourselves. Okay, you wouldn't do certain things to yourself, so don't do certain things to other people. Okay, 
Um, I'm going to leave it at that. But this, this to me was a very inspiring, because it was thought inspiring, this is what gets me. Uh, this is why I enjoy music, uh, good music. And uh, I'm really glad that I took this one on. And I hope you guys stayed for this whole video. I know it's going to be almost 25 minutes long, but uh, I certainly appreciate your time. And thanks for coming over and watching. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And I will talk to you later.